right guys, so this is a continuation of the previous two videos with her giving hair. And today's video is the coily texture. And I'm gonna be making a full wig with this hair. This uh, texture actually supposed to resemble the 3B 4A hair type, uh, if you care to know. And I have a 12, a 14, and a 16 inch. So as you know, her giving hair always give you these awesome uh, care instructions, very visual on how to take care of the hair, how to maintain it, how to work with it, and do other styles with it. So starting off with prepping all of my sewing needles, and this is a braided wig cap. It's the U uh, horseshoe style braided cap. I got it from my local beauty supply store. Uh, I'll make sure I'll try to link uh, a duplicate one of this down below. But um, I just went ahead and started sewing the wefted hair to the uh, cap. And one tip I do want to mention with this one, I did uh, skip a braid uh, ever so often. So I did cut the wefts and skip the braid as I was sewing for each one. And then once I got to the second bundle and I was going on my last bundle, I went ahead and did a circular sewing pattern to kind of close the top part of the wig off. So with any hair that I had left over, I went back through the wig into certain areas, mainly in the top, and I added those extra wefts doubled them and actually flipped it upside down and sewed it to the cap. This is what it looks like. Went ahead and cut it in its uh, natural state um, without it being co-washed or stretched or anything. I'm doing it as I'm cutting the hair, just shaping it for a certain look that I'm going for. After cutting and shaping, I co-washed the hair, and from there, yeah, it has some shedding, but from there, I went ahead and uh, fixed the cut where I could actually see it because the hair is a little bit more stretched from it being wet. So whatever I might have missed during the cutting part of it, this is when I do it after it's been co-washed and slightly stretched from water. And this is day one. This is what it looks like after it is dry and not necessarily fluffed that much. <laughs> Curl pattern is still very distinct and it's really cute. So fast forward to day two and this is the hair kind of puffed out a little bit and then at day three I decided to kind of separate the curls a little bit more just to make it a little bit more afro-ish. So I took, you know, each of the strands, not all of them, but as many as I could and just separated it and raked my hair, hands through the hair. And this was the final result. I really do like that this hair looks more like my natural texture. So yeah, this is the coily texture. Let me know you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up. Make sure you see the previous video of what I have done to the kinky texture and to the curly texture. And I'll see you guys in the next video.